Hey there folks and welcome back for another shaving video. I'm your host Chris for CDB and today I'm going to bring to you a collection of the ugliest colors possible to combine in this shave. Let me show you what we're going to be using uh, there in the picture that I took and as you can see those colors do not complement one another. We got this sort of lime gray feather SS Camisori style artist club razor. We have the uh TFS, I think that is uh, Shun Feng saying or something like that. <clears throat> Agramella or Agramella, Agrumella. I don't know how to say that. I think it means citrus in Italian. Uh, you can tell me how to pronounce it below. I think it was Agrumella or something like that. I'm trying my best. Anyway, this soap is very inexpensive. $4.99 and it is for how many ounces? I think it's 4.2 ounces or something. Anyway, it comes to 118 per ounce. 118 per ounce on the cost cost chart, which is a cost chart buster in a great way. Citrusy scent. To me, lemon, lemon forward, maybe a little bit of orange and some other citrusy notes, but definitely citrusy, which I like. Scent strength is about 3.5 to 4, a little on, probably 3.5, let's call it in the jar, but one of the things I like about soaps like this, very inexpensive, which makes a low cost of entry for new people. So let me show you the the shot there at Italian Barber. As you can see, you can get all of those soaps for a very decent price. And if you're a new person, you can experience a lot of scents for not a lot of money, and they will, they will make for a good shave. At least they work for me. Now, with this, which I rarely use, and I have cut myself using these, Will it make for a great shave today? I don't know, we'll find out. Um, we're also using the Razor Rock Beehive. This was 1499, 28 millimeter, and I've loaded some up on it. So let's let's wet the face and use some pre-shave today because I got these pre-shaves laying around. I may as well use them. We will hope that we get a nice shave. I hope everyone is doing well. We're still uh, very much in the midst of this coronavirus thing here in the United States and all over the world. We're all in the same boat. And if it hasn't uh, visited your country yet, it will, sadly. And we are hoping and praying for the best for everyone, obviously. Um, really tough time for a lot of people. Today here in the county where I live, um, we had someone who tested positive and who was ordered to quarantine and they did not. And then they went and infected a bunch of other people. So folks, Listen to what our health officials are telling us. A lot of lives depend on us doing what we're supposed to do. And I'm trying to do it to the very best of my ability. Staying in. You know, I get outside in the yard and sit on the porch with a beverage and take in a little vitamin D. But um, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to the best of my ability because other lives depending on it are depending on it, including my own. And so... I think it's just one of those times where we ought to be listening to what the experts are telling us to do. So please, don't be cavalier about it. I know early on in this, I saw a lot of people were fairly cavalier about it. I want to get it over with and so on. Trust me, you don't want it. I know some people who have had it and who are healthy and young. You don't want it. And you don't want to give it to your family. All right. Add a little more water. Again, this could be uh, great or it could be horrible. And apparently the inspector wasn't happy with just those <laughs> cuts. So he said, let me send him this uh, Artist Club Camisori style razor so he can cut himself a few more times. So we'll see how it goes and hope for the best. Okay, let's wet our razor. And again, this is something that I rarely, rarely do. And when I've cut myself a lot of times, it has been when I'm putting the razor to my face. Uh, it has happened many a time. Not many a time, but several times, I should say. That felt pretty good. And the TFS, see right there? See how I went in at that steep angle? Don't do that. It's better to sort of come, come at it more flat and then see what you can do. Coming at it with that steep angle is not gonna help anybody and certainly not me. And this is tough for me because you know me. I like to talk, 
but at the same time, more concentration is required for this kind of a shave. And so I'm trying my best to focus. But a lot of times, as you know, I tell people that I make the kind of videos that I like to watch and I like to hear what people have to say. And therefore, I don't like a dead, a lot of dead air, and I think I got myself right there, see? You know, it doesn't take any time flat. So already, this cannot qualify as a gray shade because I got a little weeper there, it looks like. But it's nothing we're gonna worry too much about. I'm not really an open blade type shaver. And the reason is I have to concentrate and focus. And that's not a lot of fun for me. You know, with a regular razor, I don't have to focus nearly as much. Let's be very careful when we're bringing it to our face. All right, no problem. I'm sort of wiping this razor off a little as I go. Um, I just have to focus more and that for me is not as enjoyable as when I can just use my DE or SE razor and really not pay a lot of attention and not bump the camera all over the place. Um, so, also, I do not have terrific dexterity in my left hand, because I don't use it a lot. And in order to develop dexterity, in order to be a good straight shaver or um, um, shavette shaver, you need to develop dexterity in both hands unless you just use one hand, um, but. Some people do, and they do it well, but mostly people try to use left hand for left side, right hand for right side. We do have that one cut there, which as you know for me, disqualifies this from being a great shave. Um, but if we don't mangle ourselves, we'll be happy with it, you know. See right there how I came in very steep angle. These blades are sharp, and if you put it to your face at the wrong angle, you're instant. It's insta cut. I almost grabbed my lip there. There's no replacement for experience when it comes to these sort of razors. There just isn't because they will cut you. And I found that, uh, I'll probably just clean that up with a DE, it would be easier. I found that uh, when I did have a brief period with the straight razor, that I felt it was easier than using a shavette like this. Because these Otters Club blades or shavette blades are very, very thin. And typically the straight razor blades are a little thicker. You can get away with a little more, or at least that's what I found in my experience with them, which uh, admitted me, admittedly <laughs> was limited. And the reason, and I tell this story because I get asked from time to time, why don't you use straight razors? I'll tell you what it comes down to is money. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I don't want to learn how to hone. When I did get into straights, before like the day was out, I'm like $400 in. I bought a Dovo Pearl X and a Ralph Alst and a Strop. And by the time that you're done, you're $400 in and you haven't even got started yet. And I was like, there's no way that I can pursue this. Then I have to learn to hone because I don't wanna, if I get like a Wade and Butcher vintage razor, I don't wanna take a chance on sending that out and it getting lost in the mail. It's irreplaceable, you know. And so I decided just not to get into it. And then I've used these uh, shavettes from time to time, but not very well. And so therefore, if you really don't enjoy it and you have to focus, for me, it's just not that enjoyable because I could just grab any one of my DEs and just have a 
more or less a mindless shave where I can just yap all day and talk and just have fun and not even have to think about, just naturally. Whereas with these, it really requires a lot more focus because if you lose your concentration for even a second with one of these, you are cut. As the late Charles Roberts said, shavette shaving is the ninja class of all shaving, <laughs> the most difficult. And you are most likely to cut yourself, even even though today I'm using a, a pro guard blade, it doesn't matter. You can still cut yourself um, quite easily and you just really have to be careful. So right here, when I'm putting it to my face, that's when I have uh, typically cut myself before. And I'm being very gentle on the skin. I'll probably just follow this up with a uh, with a DE. But if I manage no more than that little weeper down there at the bottom, I'll be satisfied. You see, I got myself right there too. That's what happens, you know. And so for me, when I'm cutting myself, and I rarely cut myself, I'm not really enjoying the shave because that does not meet my standard of a shave with no uh, nicks, weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation, you know, bubbles, troubles, so on. It doesn't, you know. Now, I could practice and practice and practice and get better. But, quite frankly, I don't want to spend the time. <laughs> I don't have the energy to, to spend the time learning to master this. Um, and honestly, it's just not as enjoyable. Just not. And so, if that's the case, why bother? You know, I'm using this because the inspector sent it. You know, otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother. It's just not, it's not anything that I enjoy. This shave will not be one that I, you know, treasure or uh, I'm most grateful that he sent it, but it's just not that enjoyable. And mostly, I'm just trying not to cut myself. <laughs> so I'm probably not doing an excellent job shaving and I'm used to doing a much better job shaving with a whole lot less effort. And so, why bother? I will say this, for you folks who do this on a day in and day out basis, my hat is off to you, you know, major, major respect, especially the ones that have no problem with Shavette. I will say, and I said this earlier that the uh, I found that uh, the shave bets were a lot harder for me to use than the uh, straight razors. Stand by, I'm gonna grab a DE real quick and relather for a third pass and, and really clean this up, stay tuned. And all right, we're back. We went and grabbed our uh, Mergress. We'll lather for another pass and try to do some enjoyable shaving. That style is just not for me. You know, I just don't care for it. I'm gonna get a little more soap out of this bowl here. It's just one of those things where it's not my cup of tea. You know, if I did it several times a week, I'm sure I would develop the skill to do it day in, day out pretty quickly without cutting myself. But honestly, I'm just never going to invest the type of time to do it because I have so many DE and SE razors that I can't even get to the good razors that I want to get to you know, have somebody to rotate through. So introducing something like this to me, just it sort of knocks one of my other razors out of a cycle, you know, and why bother? Um, Cause to me, um, the objective has always been from my perspective to get a really good shave. As I said, clean, close, comfortable, no weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation. And 
it's not about bravado. Whoa, almost dumped my <laughs> brush in the in the drink there. It's not about you know bravado and trying to master the most difficult things. However, having said that, I, I do have respect for those of you who take the time to learn it and do it. And also for those of you who take the time to learn to hone and and master that, that's another level, you know. We set the, uh, what do we set this on? I don't even know, let's look at the bottom. Four. And that feels really nice. Now I'm feeling comfortable, you know. Now we can talk all day and enjoy and I know that my work here is being done with no problems. See how more quickly that goes. Now I do see people who shave with a straighter shave at like this. Which it's, it's natural for them. Those guys like Frank and Maddie Lindholm and and some you know some other folks who just do it. They do it so frequently that they're great at it. I will never most likely put in the time to develop that much proficiency with it. Just because it's not as, it, it doesn't interest me. Um, and also, to me, I cut, honestly, I'm bummed out usually when I cut myself <laughs> because I have a, the only shave that I've ever enjoyed when I cut myself was that one when I did last week because I was just having fun, you know, even though I cut my dome several places, and that was my own fault, no fault to the razor. I enjoyed it because I was having fun. But any other time when I cut myself, you know, my, one of my personal challenges is always get a great shave without cutting myself and without getting irritation. And so when I'm uh, shaving in a manner that doesn't lend itself to that, I'm not that happy with it. Now the occasional Creeper or Weeper is okay. I mean, I'm not going to be depressed over it. But generally, I like having a good shave. Whereas after the shave, I'm just like, I nailed it. You know, my face feels great. Nothing has to heal. And as you can see, those little... See right there? Kind of hung around for a little bit. It's no big deal. We can uh, we can use the styptic on, styptic on that afterwards. But let me uh, rinse the face. We'll come back and get into the boat. Stay tuned. And all right, normally we'd put on our witch hazel now, but I'm going to uh, just hit these spots right here with a little bit of styptic. And it will leave a little chalky like stuff on your face. And I'll just let that set for just a moment while I'm talking about the uh, stuff we used. So it'll close those little, any nicks or creepers, weepers, whatever. Do not put this back in the tube wet. Let it dry and then put it back in the tube if you want it to last longer. Set that aside, and then as you can see, see that chalkiness? I'll wipe that off in just a moment, and then we'll do our post. Uh, the Razor Rock, or excuse me, <laughs> TFS, I'm used to saying Razor Rock, Agru Agrumella, uh, really nice scent. Uh, big, big, um, big time citrus in nature. Um, it's not super stout, about three and a half to four at a max. Lightly scented. But the soap itself was just fine. Um, I nicked myself, but that's just due to poor technique. It's been probably two years since I've used one of these. And I'm very ginger with it, and I'm not very good at it to begin with. So, you know, no fault to the soap. But for $5.99 or $4.99, I mean, you can't hardly beat soaps at that cost. That will, I guarantee you, if I had a safety razor today, that soap would have been flawless for me. So the Razor Rock Beehive, it's a big old knot in there. $14.99, very good price. No problems at all with that. So I'm going to dip this uh, cloth in the water a little bit and just wipe some of that off. And then we'll get to our witch hazel. We're gonna use our Humphreys again, and we're just trying this out, you know, to see how it goes. Again, to me, it smells a little more medicinal than they are. I much, much prefer the scent of Thayer's. I think it, it smells far better. This one just has a sort of medicinal scent, even though it is the cucumber melon. It's got a, I don't know, some, some quality to it that's just slightly medicinal. It might be better for your skin. I don't really know. I don't like the scent as much. So we used the Feather Artist Club uh, SS. Not super enjoyable for me. It's just not my thing. 
Um, for those guys who do this and use these and other shavettes, a uh, big thumbs up to you for mastering it. I will never take the time to master it. I'm just not interested in it. But for those of you who do, you're at the top of the heap and skill without a doubt. You know, guys like Frank and Maddie and uh, Shaven Butcher, you know, there are pl plenty of others who I'm missing. Shavette shaving is the real deal. It's no joke. Ronnie Grayer, if you're watching, um, really, really good stuff. We're going to close it out today with a little bit of uh, Razor Rock essential oil of lime since I wanted to get a little more citrus going. And let me tell you something, folks. There's never been a better time to use alcohol-based aftershaves. It's not going to hurt. With all the corona and everything going around, a little alcohol never hurt. Let's go for another round, just for the inspector. The inspector told me yesterday on the phone that I wasn't using nearly enough aftershave. <laughs> so there you go, inspector. I went for another splash. It feels great. Looks like we've closed up the the weepers there. And, you know, not the greatest shave of my life. But we used it. The inspector sent it, so I wasn't going to not use it. But honestly, yeah. It's not that enjoyable for me. So I will at some point send that back to the inspector. But inspector, thank you very much for sending it. Thanks to all of you for watching. You better believe tomorrow we're going to come back with a banging DE shave and we'll be comfortable. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, I want to remind you it's your shave. Do it your way. And of course, do it the way that makes you happy. And God bless.